Hey, Matt with 911R. Um, we have this Hummer here on my trailer. It's in the, in the next hour. I just want to kind of walk around and talk about it. You know, over the years, I've sold a lot of Hummers. Um, and what I've never liked them on is they were very slow and they didn't stop. Well, this one with the Duramax motor, which is the same as the Alphas, which are, you know, pushing a quarter million dollars now, um, just really gets them go. We got almost 700 pounds of torque um, and it just gets down the road. You know, you pass, you can, you know, you don't feel like you're just stuck in like the other H1s. Also, the other thing I always didn't like about them is they didn't stop. This one has the 12 inch rotor brake upgrade on it. It stops much better than any other Hummer I've ever driven. Um, to talk about it, so it's been fully Line X, Rhino Line, whatever you want to call it. They've done a very nice job on it. Um, it I guess at one time it was orange and then it was repainted purple. Um, the paint is great on it. Um, and, you know, I've, you know, been down here in Arizona, it's been outside some, and it's not faded, no nothing. I, so it's definitely UV coated. Somebody was asking about that. Um, walking around, it's got great fuel wheels on it. It does still have the CTIS system built in, so you can inflate and deflate the wheel, the tires. Uh, good needle grappler tires on it. It has the alpha mirrors. The roof is really nice on it. A lot of them are beat up from people walking on them in trash. This one looks Going really the good. the interior, we can see it has the actual Hummer uh, hard doors on it with the Predator quick releases on it, so you can take them off real, real easily. Um, door panels are in nice shape. They've been recovered. The switches all there. All the windows work on this. The windows are a big problem on Hummer H1s. Uh, we had to replace one of the regulators in it. They're expensive. It's a big deal. All of them work on this one. Uh, the dash has been recovered. Um, it has a center mount um, uh, HVAC system. A really nice suede Alcantara head, uh, headliner. Uh, brand new leather seat covers. Um, center console cup holders. Um, in the back, again, the center console dog cage or uh, yeah, dog house is all done, been recovered. Um, LED lighting on the inside, so it's nice and bright. Um, going, let's go around to the back. You know, all the all this stuff is looks really nice and sharp. The trim, the stainless steel hardware bits, um, the windows all being tinted. Um, the back bumper has the hitch receiver in it. Um, upgraded lights in the back. Carpet back here all looks really nice. Um, I like the barn doors on these. They're pretty cool to get in and out of. Um, and just keep walking around the, the front of the roof. Um, big Predator, uh, you know, semi-stainless uh, exhaust system all the way through. This conversion is only has about 2,000 miles on it since Predator Motorsports in Florida did the conversion. It's basically a new conversion. Um, I've been did a little more research. I said that, you know early in the auction it's probably thirty five forty thousand dollars to do the to do the conversion. Did some more research. Another guy made a comment on it. It's about seventy grand to do this mechanical conversion on this rig. That's a huge cost, and you got great value in this rig already being done and being done by Predator. I mean, there's nobody better out there on the Hummers than Predator. Again, we look in the back here. Also, you know, just everything's nicely done, tight. Everything closes, good seals, lines up really good. In the front, um, you know, all the gauges are there. Like I said, we got the relocation for the HVAC. We got the nice touch screen or a double DIN uh, CD stereo system. All the gauges work on it. Um, the fuel system swap over works on it. Just everything's right. Um, so let's open up the front. Warren winch, I think those are 12 to 15,000 pounds, probably 15,000 pounds on the side of the rig this size. Underneath the hood, you can see you've got the, the Duramax engine in it. It's all been done right. Dual batteries, big radiator, big intercooler. AC also blows very cold on this rig. I've tried it out. Um, upgraded uh, uh, lift blocks up here. You can see just everything's really cool on it. I mean, the motor has been painted. Um, you know, obviously this was not a cheap conversion. It wasn't some junkyard just slap in project in somebody's garage. This is one's done right. When they do these, they put about a two inch uh, body lift on them. And so it's got, the body's a little bit taller, which uh, looks nice on these. Glass in the front is in great shape as well. These um, take rocks um, a lot. And these, the, the front glass actually looks like it's been replaced to me. So any questions, let us know. Um, good luck. This is a, you know, I think if you're 
go buy a Hummer and do the conversion on that, um, do everything on this one, you could be in this thing, gosh, $160,000, $170,000, $180,000 really easily. So we want to sell it, so let us know. We'll help you out. Thank you.